My name is Tyler Price. I'm a visual communication student at BYU-Idaho. So five random or quirky facts about me. Uh, first, I am obsessed with t-shirts. I have 65 t-shirts in my closet right now, and 18 of them are band t-shirts. So I have a slight obsession. Second, I really like the color blue. Third, the only bone I've broken in my body was from punching my friend in eighth grade. So that was uh, interesting. Fourth fact is... Fourth thing... Interest... <laughs> <laughs> Fourth thing is that I really like high quality audio. I put a subwoofer in my car in high school and I haven't been able to get away from it since. Um, I spent $200 on this uh, Bluetooth speaker and I just love it. I even made it a special edition. The fifth fact is that, that I really like matching my shirt and my shoes. So I have like 10 different shoes. Uh, half of them are blue, but so you can see I have a black vest with black shoelaces and gray and the, the white and black watch got a match. The community to me is more than just a location and the more I thought about it, community is really a, a shared connection between people who come together with a common purpose. What a, a healthy community looks like to me is a place where people can turn to one another and receive strength and support through different trials and struggles that we all go through in life. It's a place where people will know that there's hope in the rising sun. I really love concerts and so that's what I imagine is that's a good community. Many people are fans of concerts because they like that feel of community, feeling they belong there and the connection with the music. A major influence in my life is passion. I look for passion in anything. Uh, one major thing is, is in music. One person I really look up to is Matt Theason of Reliant K and so his passion that he put in lyrics really helped to motivate me and it really influenced different desires and help me to, I feel, make better choices. I uh, influence others by trying to be an optimist. I like seeing the world with the glass half full. I think strength and optimism. I think happiness is contagious, so if I'm happy, then other people are going to be happy as well. One way currently that I try to help others is I'm involved with a program here on campus called Talent Activities. It's an opportunity for students to audition and be in different shows. So I managed a show called The Best Of. It gave a lot of different people opportunities to perform and to show their talents and then also students can attend and be inspired through their talents to maybe pursue talents of their own. And I just really like everything that surrounds that. I really like concerts and music. I've bought over 30 concert tickets. My parents think I'm crazy. They think it's a waste of money, but it's something I'm passionate about. Another thing I'm passionate about is snowboarding and longboarding. I just really enjoy being out in nature. It's a, a good time to connect with the world and uh, ponder about God. A third thing that I'm really passionate about is an organization called Fight the New Drug. They inform about the harmful effects of pornography and they help people to receive help with addictions. And I just really like um, the, the betterment of the world and being involved with that. The hardest thing I've ever had to do for something I believe in was I served a submission for the was for the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. What that entails is I had to leave my home for two years, so it's full time and I left my family. We agreed to abide by a set of more strict rules. Some of those entailed uh, giving up music and watching normal movies and sticking to a stricter schedule, waking up early to read the Word of God and just always out talking to people. So it was, it was a big challenge to my faith. It was hard growing up in a mainly LDS community and then going out and speaking with all these other religions that I had never really interacted with. But over time, I really grew to appreciate the things they shared with me and discussing with them things that were really important in my heart and trying to share them with them. Some people would turn them down, that was really hard, and some people would open their hearts. But I just, I grew to love every single person I would talk to and just, the foundation of faith that we could share and hopefully maybe share more that I believe in and help them to be a, a better person through these things. And so being away from home for this time was tough and a huge learning experience, but I wouldn't trade it for anything in the world because I grew so much and really that sparked the desire in me to help people and that is a, a large reason I want to be involved with To Write Love Under Arms. I feel like I'd be a good addition because I'm studying communications at school and my emphasis is visual but 
I also have learned other communication skills such as public speaking and presenting. I just feel that I, with my passion and believing in the organization, I help people with the mission as well as the different events that To Write Love Under Arms participates in.